Hello. Today I wanted to talk about narcissistic relationships in a way of how it's 100% transactional. So with a narcissist, the whole relationship is based on what they could get out of you. The friendship, the relationship, it doesn't matter. Everything has to be something that you're giving them. So in the beginning, it doesn't seem like much when you're when they're building a relationship with the love bombing and mirroring because they're getting positive fuel from you. So you don't feel like you're doing anything in the relationship, but you are giving them a lot. You're giving them something that they're not. You're giving them a reflection of the self that they're missing. So in the beginning of the relationship, you don't feel like you're doing anything. You're being yourself and they love everything about it, but it's 100% transactional. You know, and then finally when the mask starts to fall off, that's when they start to really keep tabs on everything. And then that depends on how much you get punished and how much you don't get punished. But you will be punished because that's their nature. Also, when it comes to friendships, a friendship with a narcissist is completely a one-way street. It's all about what they could get from you and what you could give them. When the shoe's on the other foot, they're never there for you. They're always late. They don't care if you get hurt, if you have surgery, if you're going through hard times, because it's always about them. So one thing about any type of relationship, if it's a one-way street, whether the person's a narcissist or not, you have to reevaluate your relationship with that person and see if it's worth staying in. Because any healthy relationship is a two-way street. And a normal relationship, nobody's keeping tabs on everything that you do and you don't do. And then holding that against you in the future, especially with the re the relationships. Because everything you do, they file away. So for every argument, they bring up everything, including the kitchen sink to fight with you. So you have to start to realize that everything's 100% transactional with them and there'll never be any other way. You know, so what do you do? You just get out of there. There's so many healthy people out there. If you could say f even 5% of the population has something, you have another 95% of people out there that are good people. So why put yourself in an abusive relationship or abusive friendship, which is always a one-way street and it's always going in their direction. So, you know, think about it. If you have a friend that never is there for you and doesn't care about you, you know, they care about what you give them when it comes to the holidays, you're the one who seems to always get them a gift or a card and they never give, give you anything. And they never, they never even bat an eye or, or move an, an inch for you. It's always about what's going on in their the life. They call you when they have problems. They call you when they need something, but they're never there for you. Because when you try to reach out for them, all you hear is crickets. So, you know, start to put yourself first, value your time, value your heart, protect your heart, value your friendships. And when you start to look at them and you see that they're one-way streets, you just don't have to go down that block anymore.